So you're wanting to make something like this, do some sublimation on the glass, and using these Dollar Tree cutting boards, which used to be a dollar, now they're a dollar twenty-five. Still a good deal. So you go down and you go to get some cutting boards. You want something that's like this, clear. But all you can find stuff like this that already has a graphic on it. How do you get that graphic off? I'm going to show you an easy way coming up. I'm Roger and welcome to the loft above the shop because it's warmer up here than it is down there and it's below zero outside Fahrenheit. I'm staying inside. So what I'm going to talk about here real quick is how to remove the factory graphics, for instance like this, from one of these Dollar Tree cutting boards so you can do uh, your own vinyl on the back and your own sublimation. I've had a lot of people ask, you know, well I, I went down to Dollar Tree and all they have are, are these ones that already have the graphics on them. So uh, I went down to Dollar Tree and got some of these on purpose just so I could uh, find a good way to get this off. Uh, one way that you could get this backing off, and this is not really vinyl, it's actually kind of a sticker. And it's on there really good. So paint stripper takes it off, but that's caustic, it's messy, requires rubber gloves, it's somewhat expensive. I'm going to show you an inexpensive, quick way to do it, using a razor scraper and some alcohol. And I don't mean whiskey, we're going to talk about rubbing alcohol. So I'll get a close-up here on the table and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so you got your cutting board and it's wrapped in plastic. So obviously the first thing you need to do is get that plastic off. You can use whatever to do that. So this is the back of it. And there are some feet on there. And the best way i found to get these little feet off, actually, is to use a Cricut weeding tool. And yes, I got a bummed up thumb. It's cold out and I got it in the truck door, so it's, yeah. So anyway, just take your uh, weeding tool and get, or some, something sharp or something flat, like a little spatula or something. You can get right underneath that foot. And what I do is I just stick it on to a piece of uh, backing from some vinyl. And if you do this carefully and just right, well, sometimes the adhesive stays on the foot, and sometimes it stays on the board, and sometimes this little plastic coating comes off with it. But you can use uh, clear Gorilla Glue to put these back on, or you can buy just replacement feet. So in that case, you wouldn't even need to be careful about this. A lot of the boards we do, see now here, some of that backing came off with it. So that one will either need to be re-glued, or we just use one of our other feet. So now we're down to this. There's the graphic that's on the front right now. And this is this, uh, for lack of a better word, I'm going to call it a sticker. So I'll get this out of the way. So what's a good way to get this off? A scraper, razor blade scraper. You can get fancy. This is a pretty fancy one here. You can go really basic. These are about 50 cents and they're not exactly safe, but they do work. This is probably the one everybody's more common used to seeing. Metal one like this or a dollar or two at the local home store. My preference is this guy, and this came from Northern Tool or Harbor Freight, one of the two. And it uses a single edge razor blade, and it's obviously been used quite a bit, but that's what I'm going to use here. You can also get one like this, uh, has a very heavy duty steel handle and you have to uh, loosen the screw up here to change the blades. Uh, this did come from Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight and they come in a whole set, in fact that's where this one here came from too. So what else do you need? Well in addition to the scraper you're going to be messing with some sharp stuff here. Cut resistant gloves, these are not expensive and they will absolutely save your hands if that scraper slips or if you're around something else that's sharp. There's a lot of different brands of these. 
These happen to be GTEC. I'll show you there. And this cut level two, or cut level four. NC EN 388. And they also have a, a rubber coating in the front, gives you good grip. So all you need to do, and since I have a little torn spot here, that's a good place to start. Just get underneath that and start scraping. If you heat this up with a blow dryer or a heat gun, it will come off even quicker. I, it's pretty cool up here. It's uh, looking at the, it's 62 up here. So if it was room temperature even, this would be better. I have this on a cutting mat, which is somewhat slippery. It'd be better if it was on a surface that didn't slip quite so much. And you'll see it leaves some of the graphic behind, but it, it scrapes off fairly easy. Then you might get lucky and just have a bunch of it tear off. I did do some uh, experimenting with this, with like trying lacquer thinner and acetone on it. And I was surprised at how impervious this was to uh, acetone. It does eventually soften that up but it's a long, long wait, and lacquer thinner doesn't really seem to do anything with it. So once you get down to that point, then it's just a matter of getting most of the rest of the graphics off of there, and that, they, that comes off pretty easily. You want to get as much of it off as you can. There will still be some adhesive residue on the back, or on the uh, glass here, but I'll show you how to get that off pretty easy. Obviously, it would be better if you could find boards that didn't have any graphics on them, but they seem to be uh, few and far between. I even asked a gal down there, and they can get lots of these, but don't very often get the uh, blank ones anymore. You can still order the blank ones by the case from Dollar Tree's website, but not the round ones, only the square ones. And again, if you would heat this up with a heat gun or a blow dryer, I'm sure this would be much easier. So there, get as much of the stuff off there as you can. We'll go on to the next step here after I do a little cleanup. Okay, got this laying here on a cloth, uh, basically just a rag. So this is where we're at right now, and um, hope you can probably see there's still a little bit of residue from the sticker that was on it. Goof off does work, but that leaves a film behind. And you're going to want this clean for your project, and I do mean clean, so you don't want any um, oily residue from the goof off or uh, goo gone on there. So what do I use? Right here. Isopropyl alcohol. The higher the content of alcohol you can get, the better. I'd stay away from that 30 and 40 percent stuff. You can get 70, 80, or 90 percent. That works just great. I put it in one of these little... Uh, I think these are made for makeup or something. I don't use makeup, obviously, but it's a little pump dispenser. And as you pump the top of it here, this one primed up here, you see there that uh, liquid that's inside then pulls up in that little cup. Just get you a paper towel and get it soaked up good there with alcohol. You can just pour it out of the bottle and just start cleaning. And you'll find that that stuff comes right off. You can see what's left of it there on this paper towel. And I am very aware of the cut on my thumb now because I just got some of the alcohol in it. That gets your attention. So there you are. Clear and ready to put your vinyl on it and do your sublimation or whatever other craft project you're going to do. I know some people just stick vinyl uh, directly on the back of these and uh, the vinyl comes through. It's very simple. That's an easy, quick, cheap way to do it. Okay, so you've gone from this to this and I don't know, 10 minutes I suppose. I was fooling with the camera so it took a little longer than I would have if I was just like trying to batch these out. Uh, I did buy quite a few of these while I was down there because it's very hard to get the round ones right now. And we do get orders for the uh, round versions we do. So here are the results. 
So if you got a little something out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.